This is our brand spanking new 1969 Circle J two horse straight load trailer we bought. We made it to the trailer place we bought the trailer from and Stacy is getting us all hooked up now. Now before we get going we're just going to test the lights. Well, we made it. We are storing our truck and our trailer near Seattle so that we can work on it a little bit before we go pick up the calves at the end of April. This is our brand spanking new 1969 Circle J two horse straight load trailer we bought. We're gonna do a little bit of work to it. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the lights to LEDs. We're gonna go ahead and wash it out at a car wash. Hopefully this trailer will serve us well for many years. Time for a quick tour. Up forward here, there is a pack compartment. It's pretty roomy. This is a vent. This is just an access door. And then in the back is the main doors. There is also a nice front door. Well, here we are at the car wash. All the lights work on our trailer, which is amazing considering the rat's nest of wiring uh, that is here. Uh, but uh, I plan to rewire it, and as part of the upgrade, I'm going to convert them to LEDs. Here is a last look of the trailer with the current lights on it. These are the new tail lights we're going to install on our trailer. They're LED. And other than being stop, tail, turn, they have the added function of being a reverse light too. These two uh, white LEDs in the middle act as a reverse light. So here is our test with our LED light on the left and the regular incandescent light on the right. Stacy's turning on the lights now. Here's a straight on view. They're definitely brighter when you look at them straight on. You can tell the difference. We do have a love for retro tape. Is it time for more retro? It's always time for more retro. Here's our final retro on the back of the trailer. This is a ground wire off the tail light. They didn't even put a terminal on it. They just wrapped the wire around the screw. We have now put in the right tail light and they look pretty awesome. And of course, nothing is complete until we put a flag on it. Now we're legit. Back at the trailer, we got a little bit more work to do. So far, it's sunny, but 
Looks like there's a squall coming, so we gotta hurry. We gotta change out some lights, put new safety chains on, and see if we can come up with a system to kind of make windows for the side. Our plan is to take this corrugated plastic panel and make a window here. The plan is to stick the panel to the loop side, which is already stuck to the hook side. Pretty sturdy. This side is a little shorter because there is a little door up forward. That's so we can check on the calves. Because you know we don't want to open the big door uh, when we're checking on them because they may decide they want to take a little jaunt, make a run for the border. Just to bridge the seam between the two panels, I'm just using a piece of 3M Velcro. Uh, I thought about using clear tape, but I thought this would give it a little bit more rigidity and stick a little bit better. This is what the outside looks like. That's what the seam looks like from the outside. And we'll see if it's still there when we uh, head out to go get our cows. I'm replacing the safety chains on the trailer because the uh, ones currently are just attached with these uh, split links and it just seems kind of hokey to me. This is what happens when you open a socket case upside down. It's like a game when you're a kid. You gotta match everything to the right space. Anything can be used as a hammer. I replaced the safety chains for a couple of reasons. One, the set that was on there were way too long. Uh, you may have noticed that they had to be all twisted up so they wouldn't drag on the ground. And when you do that, that really weakens the chain anyway. And secondly, they were just attached with split ring links. And honestly, if anything were to break apart, those would just straighten out like nothing was there. Now we get to put on our license plate. We also bought a registration holder that we're gonna mount in the trailer now. This is the weather we have around us today that we're trying to get our work done before it closes in on us. Well, we are gonna mount this on our forward storage compartment on the door. So we mounted our document holder to the inside of the door. We have the bolts with the heads towards the inside of the storage area. Just in case we ever put anything in here, that way nothing will snag and should keep our documents nice and dry. Our next task is replacing lights. We don't have time to rewire the trailer. We'll do that next time. Well, it is just starting to rain on us, but luckily we can do some of this work inside the trailer. I'm just putting a little loom right through the hole where the wire goes just to act as chafing gear. I'm just scraping away the paint around this screw hole because this is where I'm going to be grounding the light to. And since I'm going to be grounding to this screw here, I'm going to use a star washer as well. Every time I do an electrical connection, I always tell my folks, do the tug test. Make sure that wire doesn't come out. We have a wide assortment of connectors for all of your electrical needs. <laughs> oh, you chose wisely there. This is our last light for today. 
Hopefully they'll all work when we plug it in. Stacy's gonna start the truck and hopefully the lights will come on. Very nice. These are our new LEDs that we put on today. This is the LEDs from the other day. These are the LEDs from today. That's very good. These are the old beehive lights for keeping. Successful test, Stacy. Good job. Really starting us now we also put a trailer jack shoe on our trailer hitch today you think we're ready to go get our calves I hope so we replaced all the lights with LEDs we put retro and reflectors on we got our new license plate on we got new safety chains and we gave the trailer a once over so I think we're ready to go you'll have to stay tuned and see how it turns out <laughs> 